26 miles an hour, 2500 RPM. No drone, barely any noise at all. If anything, you just hear the roads. But the exhaust is super quiet. If you let off in a little bit, but not bad at all. Super quiet. I daily drive it. 60 miles round trip each day and it's totally totally doable super good setup 63 1700 rpm 2700 rpm rather so I can give it a little gas pretty good and then quiet again another quick little highway clip so you can hear the exhaust on the highway I can get a little the airport I'm at 2500 rpm I mean got some road noise but all these roads around here aren't too great quiet here though I'm not yelling talking pretty quiet the gas highway cruising speeds I think that's the one time I get a little drone barely I don't even know if you'll hear it on camera it's very slim there's some regular throttle just rowing through the gears be pretty easy on it just so you can hear what it sounds like windows are up hear the hiss of the of the header it's the one thing I don't really like about it as far as everything else uh, I got the hybrid three and a half inch cold air intake skunk 2 alpha header full race exhaust j35 throttle body I did the coolant bypass mod um, at the Hasport 70a race mount everything's been really good I, I spent the extra money and got everything quality all i'd say the lowest end part would be the header <laughs> i mean they're kind of known to it's kind of some people have good experience with them some people bad mine's been good i did have an issue with uh everything made it up lengthwise everything was perfect between the full race and the skunk 2 header but the donut gasket they send with the header is just total junk. The, it leaked really bad all the time. I couldn't get it to stop leaking. So I finally ordered an S2000 donut gasket. And that helped a lot. It, do, it doesn't leak at all, really. I 
found it online, I think, for like 30 bucks, which is cheap. It's o It was OEM. The Honda dealership wanted like $80 for it, but I found it online cheaper. As far as my tune, uh, most of my other videos you see, my tune is from E-Tunes by Steve. Great tune. I mean, drives better than, you know, better than stock. Gas mileage is good. Power is good. And then just recently, I got curious about other tuners just to see, because I know Steve's, he plays it on the safe side, which is good for daily. But I wanted to try somebody different than most people, so I got a second tune by Spec Tuned or Cody Pine. A lot of the 8th gen, 9th gen guys go through him. And his tune is a little more aggressive. I think it's got a little more timing, a little more fuel. I'm sure different cam angles and stuff. And it, uh, it, his tune definitely has a little more top end. I'd say the top end's a little better. Overall good power on uh, the spec tune, the VTEC's at 4,500 RPM. That's where he seems to like it. I like it, it seems nice around town if you want to get it up in the RPMs a little more. Using more throttle without getting into VTEC is where the E tunes, the VTEC's at 4,100. So 4,500 kind of nice around town so I can get on it a little more without having to get into VTEC and then it comes on a little stronger you can you can still feel the VTEC a little more at 4500 as where the E-Tunes at 4100 it just is like seamless the VTEC comes on you only hear it you don't really feel it so it's kind of give or take but the one thing I'd say if I didn't like anything it would be the Hasport mount some people don't think it, it's bad, but mine has just been, I mean, I've torqued it and retorqued it and made sure everything was perfect, how it should be installed. And it's just gave me a lot of vibrations. And I, I definitely can hear more engine noise with that thing in there. But before I put it in, my Skunk 2 header was just banging up against the firewall real bad. I didn't want to crack it or anything. So it is what it is. talking too much already so I just want to answer a couple questions I get a lot in my comments my other videos so hope this answers them